I wanna paint and play music today. Cause it gives me a joyful feeling and I won't ever wanna feel this way. Hello and welcome to the show. Today I am painting a wild ocean. And I've drawn a picture of it here. It's just a, a scribble. And sometimes it's good to have a little bit of a plan before you go into a painting. Not always, but um, I want to paint something chaotic. Water going in different directions. And it's good to just have something to look at, to reference. Um, it can go in lots of different directions from this. This is, this is just uh, black and white. But um, I'm keeping it open for experimentation. Let's put it that way. So let's get to it. I'll put this over here. I'm using um, my favorite paper. Arches, uh, cold press paper, and I guess I can just start with some light blue just to give me some sort of a reference point. white cap here and maybe a green and a white cap here and maybe a dark white cap here and now who knows maybe there's a yellow white cap there there's a pink one. I guess that's not really pink. It's more of a light crimson. And a green one here. Ooh, that's starting to look a little bit more wild to me. Get back there. There's got to be one. Take a minute to stop and remember what I'm doing. And I'm going to set this actually to the side. Easier to look at that way. Okay. And I'm going to use this flat brush to help me create some lines. So you can see which way water is moving. There, see that? One is moving that way. But then on the back side of this wave, ooh, that's pretty dark. Darker than I wanted. But that's okay. Let's fix that with um, a round brush and some just water straight into it. Yeah. Happier. See by making these lines that you can kind of see that the lines give it the movement, show you the way the water's moving. Like I said before, it's moving in both ways. So 
So. so I'm not afraid to make the lines go every which way because that's what I want. I want it to be the kind of ocean you look at and go, whoa, I don't know if I want to swim in that right now. I don't know if I want to surf in that right now. I don't even know if I even want to get too close to that right now. The ocean is all different things, right? It can be calm and peaceful. Then you can be angry. It can be nothing too. It can just be, it can be like a lake. That's why I love the ocean. It's always bringing new energy. You could say that ocean is always new, fresh energy, sometimes unsettling, sometimes grounding. But the mountains, the mountains to me are always grounding. They are just rock solid. They've been, been there doing their thing for millions of years, billions of years. They go through slow changes, but they don't go through the quick changes that oceans do multiple times a day. You can walk down to the ocean like I have here where I live and there's nothing happening. And then an hour later, there's a lot happening. Beginning of a painting, it's just a lot of colors. It's just thrown at the page. See, down here, I have to leave a lot of color out because I want it to be that part of the ocean where there's a lot of white water. And then back here, I want it to be a little lighter too, up top here, just because I want it to fade off. And while some of this is still wet, I'll just darken some areas just to make some shadows. Oh, yeah. Watch that paint bleed. It's my favorite thing about watercolor painting is watching the colors bleed into each other. Use this blue yet. And often when the ocean is wild like this, the sky is wild too. So there's all different, it's not that perfect blue sky that is in so many cartoons. It's 
a colorful sky, lots of grays, and it's a moody sky, and reds and browns, and so I'm just letting it all be. Now these waves aren't going to be white because the sky isn't pure blue, so you can have some color in these waves, in the, sorry, in the, the white part of the waves. There's some shadow in there. Probably even use a little brown. There we go. <laughs> okay, a lot happened in just a little bit of time. So Let's let this do some drying. And sing a song. And I'd like to sing a song called Stand Up For It. And the reason I'm doing the song called Stand Up For It is because if you go into a chaotic situation like a wild ocean, you have to remember what you believe in. You have to stay strong in your beliefs so as not to be rattled. So 
around for long But he won't be for long Somebody's gonna come And stand by your side If there is something you love You have to run to it Stand up for it If there is something you love You have to cherish it Stand up for it Stand up Sha la 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 Sha la 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 Sha la 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 Sha la 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 Sha la 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 Sha la 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 Sha la 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 Sha la 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 Well, the paper is still pretty wet. But the show must go on, so I'm going to continue on with a smaller brush and darker paint. And come in and get some of those lines, those sweeping, dramatic. Sweeping dramatic lines that disappear as soon as they appear when you're staring at the ocean because it's always moving. If you're a surfer and you're staring at a wild ocean, you're always wondering, could I surf that? Is it worth it to get out there, to get pummeled, to get beaten up by the waves just to catch a wave that comes out of nowhere, and be in the right place at the right time? Maybe I can catch one of these wild things and ride it like a bull. I actually don't encourage anybody to go riding a bull. That's not my thing. This one might be that wave that somebody's looking at. It's got a nice little steep spot. Looks like there's there's hope for a surfer in there. Painting's really not that hard. You just have to put some time into it and you have to be okay with paintings not being very good for a long time. And really who's to say what's good and what's not good. It's just how you like it to come out, I guess.
I'm getting to that point of this painting where I don't want to do too much more. There's a certain kind of chaos that we like to look at, but then there's a kind of chaos that we don't want to look at because it's just too chaotic. And I think I'm reaching that point where it's just about to get a little too chaotic. one or two ways where I just give it a little extra detail so that you feel good about letting your eyes just rest on those for a while. You go, oh yeah, I see, that. that's a wave. The rest of these can just be, be impressions of a wave. I think we're done, folks. I'll sign it. And that's it. It's a wild ocean. It started off as that. And then it became this. Thank you for watching. I hope you watch some more. I really love doing this for you. And have a great day.